Hi everyone, just a quick uh, mention of my book before the vid today's video starts. Watercolour Painting Made Simple by myself, Stephen Cronin. Available on Amazon, um, hardback, softback, Kindle. Um, so that's on Amazon. Details in the description below. So let me show you today's video. Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks for joining me again for the watercolour demo. This is Loch Lyle up in the Scottish Islands. Um, I haven't done any of the Scottish, I used to do quite a lot of the Scottish art, I haven't done any for age, so I thought I'd like to uh, start doing a few more. Um, very simple composition, wide, far reaching views of the, the hills and the mountains. Um, so, before I show you how I did this one, let's have a quick look at the colours. So, on the palette, always in the same order, I've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red, they're all cut and walk colours um, used most, 99.9% .9 of it was done with a large height brush and then number three rig and then a very very small rigger just for the tiny little bit else let's start off with some clean water lubricate the paper all over Then I'm going to go ultramarine and Payne's grey, which are going to be the two predominant colours in this sky. Maybe a touch of a lizard and crimson as well. Brush those in. And it always dries lighter. So you need to get on stronger than you what it to look like when it's dry, unless you're doing it in two, two goes. You can always paint it dry and then paint it again if you want to go really dark. Okay. So it's just ultramarine, Payne's grey. Bits of a little crimson thrown in as well. And I'm going to take a tissue, I think. Well, actually, I might use the brush actually. Try it with a brush. Well actually, well, actually, I think I'm going to do both. So I'll just soften that off first. Soften that off, bring that down. And take a little bit more out. Using the same colours, I'm going to get the most distant landing. So, first the faintest land, so not too strong. Bring in the horizon down to about there, so that's actually a little bit too light. stronger Dip it in the, in the walls just to bring the hairs back together, get that chisel edge. Just, 
that more there, just slightly. Soften off the bottom of here a little bit. Don't kind of sort of like a hazy, misty, misty sort of effect. Just trying to get rid of those hard edges. Give that a quick dry. as well so now I'm going burnt umber and ultramarine and it's pretty dark so it really stands out it's a nice sharp edge I'm trying to get some sort of variations on as I'm going around. That's pushing this, it's, it's quite, quite high this. Just working out the lay of the land there, that's giving Two little light, lighter sections in. Just clean the brush. A bit of ultramarine. Um, we'll see that. Just push that in there. Like that. in crimson in there. Just a few little flowers and things growing. Just bringing this right the way down to the bottom. Doing a burnt umber. Ultramarine.
I can get some <coughs> subtle little details in there. Like some little tree line scattered about. Uh, just lemon yellow. I haven't bothered cleaning the brush because I want this really, really dark. So it's going to be a bit more lemon yellow. Paint's grey. Just enough water to hold all the, uh, the hairs together. And we've got like a sort of distant tree, so I'm just flicking up like this. Just little flicks like that. Because they're so small, really help create a sense of scale. Sort of restricted to the sort of lighter areas. Dots and dabs here and there. Just little, little details. Let's just make sure it's flat against the board first. I think I'd ruin the scale because if you can imagine that's the size of a tree, a boat over there, you're hardly going to see it. So, all I'm going to do, I'm going to ditch the little, little brush. I'm just going to make a little bird. It can be the, can be the focal point. Somewhere it will show up. So if I'm allowed to stick me stick me now on it. And we'll call that one finished. So let's put a mate on that and see what it looks like. Let's see if we're gonna finish painting the mains. If I have a closer look at it. Sky area, sort of predominantly ultramarine, bit of paint's great. <coughs> Lizard and crimson in there as well. And I've used both a dry brush to create these clouds and took a few more out with the tissue to create some texture in there. Distant land put in a little bit fainter. Could maybe be done with some sharper edges, maybe on the, uh, the closer hills. Maybe a touch darker as well. A little bit careless with the brush strokes there, I could have done with a sharp edge. And then I just took the... took a bit of the base out just to create that sort of misty effect. 
and then this layer here maybe could have been a touch darker to maximise the contrast and then from the middle into the foreground it was all then about variation both in colours and, and tones sort of dark areas with little um, with um, lighter sections in between you can see where I've just flicked up across here with the height brush and some dark colour just to suggest a few trees right way in the distance dividing the land up so this sort of tonal and colour variation just keeps it interesting doesn't all, you know, it's all pretty abstract. And then rather than put a boat, I thought I'd just make our little bird the uh, focal point. So that's it for today's painting. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you had the, I hope you was painting along with me. Um, remember to keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, remember the books on Amazon, paintings on eBay. There's more videos over on Patreon. All the all the information's in the description. So until next time, I'll see you again soon.